Thank you for taking the time to visit Rochester Heating and Air here on YouTube. The purpose of Rochester Heating and Air videos are intended for licensed HVAC professionals. The content of these videos could be hazardous to the untrained person. For the homeowners taking the time to view these videos, they are intended to educate the homeowner only. They are only to demonstrate to the homeowner what to look for in proper service procedure and proper installation practices. Please do not attempt any of these HVAC procedures conducted on these videos at home. Failure to comply with this disclaimer puts the homeowner and their family at risk of serious injury or worse. Call a licensed HVAC professional. We are very happy that you took the time to visit us here on YouTube. We would be proud to help you with all of your HVAC needs, whether it be a service call to get your equipment up and running again or an installation of new equipment we are here to serve you. If you are in Louisville, Kentucky or the surrounding areas, please give Rochester Heating and Air a call at 502-643-0220 or email us at www.rochesterheatingandair.com. Please stay tuned for the upcoming video. Morning guys, Sunday morning, Fern Creek, Kentucky. And uh, this is what I get to wake up to. Uh, not a real happy camper. I'm not complaining or anything, but you know, heck, I guess I feel just like the normal customer. Uh, here humming. We're at uh, 160 degrees and she ain't even spinning, guys. See it? Uh, we're in a uh, counterclockwise rotation here. There we go. Come on. Welcome to Fritz's house. <laughs> Alright, that just tells me that uh, hopefully it's just a capacitor. Told you, I've probably been on a thousand capacitor calls this summer. Ain't that something? Alright guys, bear hey with guys, me. guys, we got the panel popped off of it. And what we're going to do here is, uh, I already know what everything is, but we'll just go ahead and uh, do this for giggles. Uh, we've got our, uh, off our condenser fan motor here, we've got our brown. Of course we know what that is, that's start. That's running back to our capacitor, which is our fan. We've got our purple, which is running back to our common. And we've got our black, which is going to uh, T2. Or K2, whatever they want to call it. But, uh, alright guys, so, here's our black, it's running directly to our defrost board, alright, right there, but before I do all this, I'm going to go ahead and check my dual cap here and see, see what's up, so let me get a couple wires off of it and then we'll test it. Alright guys, all right. got to wake up this morning to my uh, air conditioner not running, my heat pump, and it looks like I've got a bad cap here, I uh, guess we got might have got lucky here. But the uh, reason I'm saying that is because I could take uh, that paint stick and I could uh, turn it. That's uh, telling me my fan's probably still in pretty good shape, but uh, my fan motor. But uh, as you can look at this cap here, it's a 40 slash 5. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, man. I mean, it ain't leaking. Uh, it ain't really, uh, you know, popped up and uh, bulging or anything, but I think it's bad. So let's, uh, let's put the fill piece on it and see what we got. All right, test a cap. You're gonna to go to common. What's this fan here? And you're gonna to go to common. And we've got zero, zero point one. Let's go ahead and check the harm while we're at it. Zero, zero point one. All right, guys. Let's see if I got a forty slash five on the truck. If not, I got to call into Eddie, and uh, hopefully he might have one. If not, I'll have to uh, just make do. I'll uh, I'll rig it till uh, I can get to the American Standard tomorrow or wherever my parts have. Let me hop in the truck here. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, I got a 40 slash five. I know I've got 20,000 35 slash fives and 7.5s and whatnot. But uh, anyway, yesterday I uh, cleaned the heck out of the truck and I've got everything organized. I actually took like that uh, hammer drill Eddie gave me and I uh, got my battery pack in there and I actually took. Uh, 
Uh, I had a Craftsman right angle drill. I've got that in there and I've got everything in this bag just for like uh, hammer drilling and stuff. Uh, I got my Hilti backer in the back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy a case for that uh, this week. Uh, I think it's like 75, 80 bucks, but that way I can store everything like, you know, you know, I like how I got everything stored and I like to be, uh, like to be, uh, ready to rock whenever I'm ready to rock. So, uh, but anyway, uh, let me get in here and see what we got. <sighs> We're looking for a 40 slash five. Oh yeah. I was going to shoot a, <laughs> I was going to shoot another, uh, 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 motor video for y'all, but, uh, I just wasn't feeling real good yesterday. So, but, uh, maybe I'll try to get after that, uh, this week or something. But uh, anyway, let me get in here and see if I can find All right, one. guys, my uh, dual run capacitor uh, bin here is getting pretty low. I've got the Turbo 200. Um, I could put that on there, but uh, I didn't know whether or not I had a 40 slash 5, but of course I do. And uh, I've got a lot of 35 slash 5s. Well, hell, there's another 40 slash 5. Uh, 25 5. Most of my 35s are gone. Here's just a regular run cap. It's in the wrong spot. It goes over here. Uh, let's see what else we got. 35.5. Five. 35.5. Alright, looks like I'm in halfway decent shape, but I'm going to go tomorrow and get some more caps. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, let's put this puppy on. See what we got. Get Fritz some cooling. It's probably going to be 90 degrees again today. I have to adapt this one. <laughs> Did y'all see that heavy diesel? Uh, uh, my good buddy John's uh, video where the Cap Bandit went transatlantic and it was just hanging there. <laughs> I like that. All right, here we go. Let's check fan to common. And we do have uh, five, 5.1, 5.2. Let's go ahead and check the Herm. And we should have 40, come on. And we do have 40, so we're ready to rock. All right, guys, let's get this thing back together. Mama needing some cooling, guys. Mama needing some cooling. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. All right. Gonna have to adapt and overcome, but let's go ahead and get it running first and see what we got. Let's see, we got our Herm here, our orange. And we got another orange. Got a there like that. All right. Put that flag the other way. No, I don't like that. yet <laughs> all right guys I just want to test it real quick that's all we're doing right here okay guys I just went in and kicked the thermostat uh, yeah she just engaged you can actually see the uh, contactor where she's pulled in at and I got my green light so let's go ahead and get my uh, disconnect back in how exciting all right guys I don't know about y'all, but I have probably put on 5,000 caps this summer. All right, guys, let me uh, let me get me some uh, plumbing strap and everything, and I'll uh, button this puppy back in. I'm gonna let it run a minute, man. It's uh, starting to get warm in there. <clears throat> Mom just made us some good old sausage neg, so I'm gonna let that uh, kitchen cool down just a bit. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, Got to get me some plumbing strap. Tie thing up, make it look good and nice. Um, but uh, let me get after it. Okay, guys. Uh, I guess we're ready to put our uh, found some plumbing strap. Got my screws. Got my drill. Got them keyed out. Got my uh, uh, bulldogs. 
I, basically we're gonna go ahead and pull this uh, holder here but uh, before we do that I want to de-energize the unit Make sure ain't nothing touching. We'll move this flag terminal around. Have it facing the other way. Don't want to ground it against the, uh, the unit. We'll go ahead and uh, cut us a piece of plumbing strap and uh, we'll get right after it. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to try to go back in these same holes. Just utilizing some plumbing strap to make it good and tight. We don't want no uh, cat bandit crap going on here at Fritz's house. <laughs> here, John, get a kick at it. All right, guys. All right, so there we go. We got that. We'll roll this around like so. Make sure we're not touching anything back here. And there we go. Guys, that's all there is to it. Make sure your caps on are good and tight. I don't like that part of these dag on uh, slide drivers, dude. Always pops back on me. See? I think I might stick to my clients. These are good for certain things, but anyway, just bitching. All right, guys, let's fire this puppy up and see what we got. Alright guys, we're back in business. It's time for some breakfast. 